hello my viewers you are highly welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial today we are going to be looking at this particular problems on the board so the question says we should evaluate the cube root of 27,000 the cube root of 8,000 the cube root of 64,000 and the cube root of 512,000 now this is actually the continuation of a previous video on square root and uh, the understanding of the square root we did in our previous video uh, is what we are going to be you know putting in place here okay now i want you to listen to me listen attentively so that you'll be able to get what i'm doing so now, if you don't forget, we can see that in the last video we make, I made you to understand that whenever you have two zero at the back and you are looking for the square root, so what really mean is that you are going to be, that is what, that is a uh, hundred, okay? So now, if you have this one here, you can see we have three zeros, three zeros there, three zeros there three zeros there so what we are going to do is that from the first one now that is a you can see that 27 times 1000 we give us what two to seven thousand are you getting it now so therefore we are going to be splitting them into two that is 27 and 1000 8 and 1000 64 and 1000 then 512 and 1000 that's what we are going to be doing so now Let's go to the next page so that you see what we have there. So now, going to the first one, that is 1. The first question is to uh, so find the cube root of what? 27,000. And I told you that this can be split in this form. 27 times 1000 okay because we are having three zeros at the back and also this can be cube root of 27 times cube root of what 1000 so now from there the cube root of 27 means you how you look for a particular number that when you when it, that number multiply itself three times that is a times a times a that is the number we multiply it itself three times and give the number and that is what that is three because three times three times three will give us twenty seven and also we look at the cube root of one thousand a number that you multiply itself three times that will give us what one thousand and that is ten so therefore. We have the what we have the cube root of twenty seven thousand to be what to be thirty, okay. So now that is what we are going to be doing you now to the next uh, problems we have. So now let's go to the second one. That is what two two cube root of eight thousand. This can be splitted in two as cube root of eight multiplied by cube root of what? One thousand because we are having three zeros. So now from there, what's the cube root of eight? The cube root of eight is what is two. That is two times two times two. We give us what? We give us eight. Two times the cube root of one thousand is what is is what? Then, then we have 20. Therefore, the cube root of 8,000 is what is 20. Do you understand? Is what is 20. Therefore, we go to the third one. The third one is uh, the cube root of 64,000. So the same, you know, approach. This will be splitted as cube root of 64 times cube root of what cube root of uh, 
cube root of 1000 okay so now what will you multiply or what will multiply itself three times that will give 64 and that is uh, 4 yes 4 times 4 times 4 we actually give us 64 we have 4 here okay to be the cube root of 64 and uh, multiply by the cube root of 1000 is going to give us 10 then we have what we have 40 to be the cube root of 64,000 that is 40 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 40 we give us what we give us uh, what's it called we give us 64,000 okay now lastly we are going to look at this that is for the lastly we are going to have what we are going to have for that is cube root of what 512 thousand so this is going to be you no know, by splitting it into two five one two then cube root of what 1000 now the cube root of 512 is a number that multiply itself three times and result to 512 and that is 8 okay multiply by the number that multiply itself three times and give 1000 is what is 10 then 8 times 10, we are going to have 80. Therefore, the cube root of 512,000 is going to give us 80. That is, 80 multiplied by 80 multiplied by 80 goes to give us what? It goes to give us um, 512,000. Okay? And that is going to be the end of this lecture. If you understand or if you don't understand, kindly hit on the comment box to ask your question. If you find this class very interesting, do not hesitate to hit on the subscribe button. Hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new content. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to share to your learning colleagues. Bye.